Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Autodesk Inventor here I will decide to make um, the assembly of the turbo um, as you can see here we have many uh, bottle connection here and I did a section view to see to see what happened in the interior of this um, sub assembly okay a cell presentation that's the relationship between all the component um, mates different mates uh, here you can choose the half section view okay I will close this go to the new assembly when you open inventor and here click in the place component go to your folder when you um, where you saved all things and start with the uh, turbine housing Click open the same method, add another component. This one choose the bearing housing. Compressor, compressor wheel, compressor cover, and the last one is the turbine wheel. Click open. Okay, when you have all these components here you have to fix this one uh, make it grounded uh, as you can see here we can move all the parts uh, else this one start with constraint make it um, um, Quarksol Okay The same thing with this one Choose the center line I will move it this In this side To see the plan Surfaces Last thing is to add this. Let's try to rotate it. Okay, let's work. Um, what we have? Start with this and this one. have to move it like this to see what happened there and add another constraint start uh, from this surface and this planar surface and uh, we have to add another uh, constraint between um, this and this one 
click apply we have another here start with this one and this circular surface and I will add another between this one and this planar face ok ok then choose another constraint using three of them and use the same surface click apply Uh, now it's time to add the V-Bend clamp between the bearing housing and the compressor and the turbine uh, housing from here to here then click apply I think all thing is okay, okay here mm. okay guys now it's time to add some bolts here to fix the the wheel and the, you have to save your model your assembly let's do the, the sub assembly i will put zero one to make a difference of the first one click in the button connection and choose concentrate start plan start from here circular reference is uh, this one and blend start plan choose this choose the diameter um, I will put uh, 3 and look from the from the top And you can adjust with this um, with this um, feature. Click here to add the fastener. Choose uh, here bolt and standard. Choose uh, DIN. Choose this bolt. Wait a sec, and you have your port here. And now you have just to adjust it with uh, this frame to see what happened in the interior of this model. Click OK. As you can see here, when you make it shaded. Yes, with edges, we have um, no hole here. Okay, I have to edit this bolt, and I will collapse this um, this configuration like this. Click OK and uh, wait for uploading as the problem is fixed uh, now it's time to repeat this bolt using um, uh, pattern um, I, will, I will try to see what's happened in the interior using uh, half section view I will choose uh, I will choose this plan and as you can see we have the bolt is okay in the in the body now I will repeat this go to assembly assemble mm, pattern using circular pattern here you can choose a circular I will put 10 here mm, 36 okay 
diggers if you remember we have 10 holes there now it's time to add uh, a bolt here using the same uh, reference design and bolted connection shoes concentric and here you can decrease the 2.3 in the millimeter in the diameter here you have to choose this plan like uh, blend start plan okay look from the top and change the view here the wireframe As you can see here we have the blue one of our hole and uh, I have to I have to change the, the diameter because we can't find the best one put 2.5 to the diameter and choose the pot here now we have the best uh, one of the button I think it's okay like this okay I will add another fastener like the um, which round okay Click apply and create um, this um, this part. Wait a sec, and you have this result. Let's see. Okay, but we have a bolt here to fix the um, the compressor wheel to the. To the axe of the turbine wheel. Okay, go to in, in, in and expect and select this one. Define seat one in the define seat two. Select this one and select the turbine wheel. Click OK. Wait a sec. Analyze that. Analyzing the result. If we have and any interference wait for the the message and we have zero or no interference detected and our model is okay we have any interference in this uh, turbo charger and let's see uh, half section view using XZ plan and you have the same the result as you can see in the first in the first of this episode um, if you have any suggestion or uh, um, question don't hesitate to post it in the comment I will respond to you when I have any time and see you in the next episode uh, to make the assembly see you next tutorial